So I feel extremely privileged to be able to offer long-term intensive psychotherapy in, as part of my psychiatric practice. Psychotherapy is a form of talking. Uh, psychotherapy is a healing relationship. In which people can feel safe, can feel heard. It's talking to someone who is skilled in terms of listening and looking at uh, various patterns in that person's behavior. And it's giving them meaning. You don't only look at them, you look at their families. Not just necessarily how other people view them or understand them, but how they connect with their own sense of identity. The thing that really helps is understanding who they are and where they want to go. And give them a sense of optimism and hope about uh, what their lives can be for them. I think one of the potentially most damaging misconceptions about psychotherapy is that it's just not effective. Well, the psychotherapy is easy. Is that it's not evidence-based. Is that it works quickly. And that psychiatry's real tools are the pharmacological approaches, medication. One of the common misconceptions about psychotherapy is that it's for a group called the worried well. I don't view psychotherapy at all as a luxury. I view it as a necessity and one which I often have trouble um, finding for my patients. Psychotherapy is very hard work. It's very hard work for the psychiatrist who's doing it, and it's very hard work for the patient. People who present well, who may be high functioning, may even be overachievers, uh, are, can be suffering also, and oftentimes they can end up killing themselves. I strongly believe that psychotherapy can save lives, especially for people who've had significant histories of trauma, and or chronic uh, suicidality. I work with primarily a PTSD population. Many of the patients that I see, it is the only treatment left. Some of them have been traumatized in duties like first responder roles. Very often people who need psychotherapy have a history of childhood trauma. And they feel uh, desperate and bewildered about what, what what's happening to them and what's wrong in their lives. I see patients on a weekly basis who have tried medications, sometimes dozens of medications. And I think psychotherapy breaks the cycle of intergenerational trauma and abuse. The only evidence-based treatment left is long-term intensive psychotherapy. For some people, it's the first experience of safe relationship that they've ever had. So you're not only salvaging the life of the person in psychotherapy, you're salvaging the future lives of their children. Psychotherapy doesn't just save lives, it saves families. Well, I think of resilience. Oh, journey. Life-saving. Inner strength. Always hope. Trust. Contentment. Empowerment. Partnership. Connection. Transformational. Meaning. There's also a lot of despair. Resilience. Ambition. Vitality. Mastery. Working through. Connection. Inner knowledge. Autonomy and agency. Finally, wisdom. And hope. Is that enough? I am a psychiatrist and I do psychotherapy. I'm a psychiatrist and I do psychotherapy. So I'm a psychiatrist in training. I'm a psychiatrist and I do psychotherapy. I'm a physician and I do psychotherapy. I'm a psychiatrist and I do psychotherapy. I'm a psychiatrist and I do psychotherapy. I'm a psychiatrist and I'm doing psychotherapy. I'm a psychiatry resident and I do psychotherapy. I am a physician and I do psychotherapy. I'm a psychiatrist and I do psychotherapy. You want me to say I'm a neuropsychiatrist and I do psychotherapy? I'm a psychiatrist and I do psychotherapy. I'm a neuropsychiatrist and I do psychotherapy. I'm a psychiatrist in training and I do psychotherapy. I'm a psychiatry resident and I want to do psychotherapy.